Okay, so again I was at the range, uh, testing out my Swiss arms, this time at 200 yards. Uh, and I thought I'd just, uh, you know, kind of show again what, uh, what kind of accuracy I was getting. Uh, this year there was a little bit of a wind, uh, which pushed it off the grouping about, you know, about two inches. Uh, so right there, that's nine shots. The tenth shot was way out here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just pulled it on that one. Uh, but anyways, this group here for nine shots measures 2.5 inches. So for at 200 yards, that's just a little over uh, one MOA, which is is pretty good. I was uh, pretty happy with that. This was the first group I shot in the day, and it was the best 10 shot group that I had. Uh, so, you know, I, again, uh, I was resting uh, the short magazine on sandbags, and actually I was using a rear rest this time. Uh, this is why this group is significantly uh, smaller in terms of minute of angle than the other one I had at 300. But then uh, the real <laughs> really impressive group came uh, closer to the end of the day. It was a five shot group at uh, 300 and that's it right there. Right like that it's 1.2 inches for five shots which uh, works out to 0.6 MOA. So that is a sort of uh, you know accuracy that can be attained uh, with the Swiss Arms, and then they just got, uh, you know, signed, dated, witnessed, all that sort of stuff, uh, because I was blown away. Uh, this was actually part of a 10-shot group. I was just aiming dead on at the center of the target. The uh, wind direction had shifted by this point. It was about two hours after that, the first one. Uh, and also, uh, this was part of a 10-shot group, actually. And what I did is these five shots were all rested, uh, with the magazine on the sandbag with rear support, but then after I reloaded, I accidentally placed the rifle back on the uh, on the handguard. So the handguard was resting on the sandbags, and that caused a significant shift in point of impact, and it actually jumped from here to about there. So that was all off the paper. It was still actually a decent group. It was under two inches, uh, but it uh, was just completely different point of impact by resting it on the handguards. So that was, uh, you know, that wasn't really surprising, but it was interesting to note uh, that you do have that sort of change in point of impact if you're resting on the handguards as compared to the magazine. But yeah, there you go. I'm very, very happy with this for a 200-yard group of a uh, well sub MOA. That's, you know, so this is what can be done with the uh, Swiss Arms, uh, assuming the shooter's having a good day.